In this video, we are going to discuss about the arrival of the new field consumption in uh, bill of material of manufacturing product. So let's see uh, how it works in Oro version 13. For that, uh, we have to go to manufacturing. Uh, let's go to a bill of material. Here you can see the bill of materials are grouped by the type and then choosing table DO. Uh, in the miscellaneous tab, you can see a new field uh, that is consumption. So there are two options, strict and flexible. And if I am choosing flexible, um, you can consume more or less components than the planned one. That is, uh, you can use more or less components than the planned one. That is, uh, here uh, the quantity you have specified. So if you are using tabletop uh, and uh, the consumption is uh, flexible, then you can use uh, more number of uh, tabletop uh, than specified here. And uh, suppose you are using strict uh, consumption, then uh, you can you cannot use more or less components than is specified. So you have to use uh, the as many co components that you have specified here. So let's see how it is. Uh, for that, first of all, I am choosing the consumption as strict, and I am saving. So let's create a manufacturing order for the table MTO. And here I am choosing the product uh, to manufacture table MTO. So here you can see the tabletop and the, the bill of materials here. And uh, you can see to consume is uh, tabletop is one. So I am mark as to do the product. Plan. So here you can see the work orders. Process the work order. So I am validating. Okay, uh, I have to specify the serial number. So here you can uh, see the uh, quantity and then specify in the serial number. Okay, and uh, Serial number for the product and validating. So here uh, you can see the table. Table is uh, for quantities. So uh, uh, we have specified in the bill of material as. Uh, to consume is 4 so uh, and we have uh, set the consumption method as the strict so if I am changing the uh, quantity as 5 Okay, so now I have specified the quantity as 5 uh, and you can see the specified quantity in the bill of material as 4. So if I am validating, you can see uh, an error message that is you should consume the quantity of table defined in the bill. Uh, it is because uh, uh, I have specified the consumption method as the uh, strict. Uh, so uh, I cannot use more quantities than the uh, planned one. So I have to use uh, 4 quantities itself. So now I can validate. So this is how the strict uh, consumption method works in manufacturing order. So let's change the uh, consumption method uh, in order to see how the flexible consumption method works in uh, manufacturing order. For that, uh, we have to go to bill of material and again I am choosing the table MTO. And now I am uh, changing the consumption method as flexible so uh, if I am using consumption method as flexible I can't I can use uh, more or less components than the planned one so I'm saving and let's create a manufacturing order for the table MTO mm, here I am choosing table MTO let's mark as to do Plan the manufacturing order and 
so here you can see the verb coder and I am going to process the verb coder uh, provide a serial number for the product ok then validate specify the serial number then validate ok next so in the case of table like uh, you can see the quantity that I have specified in the bill of material is 4 here and if I am uh, going to use uh, a eight quantity of legs so I can change here provide the lot number I have provided so let's validate so you can see uh, there is no error message for the uh, consumption uh, sorry uh, for the work order uh, that I can use more or less components uh, that I have specified in the build of material if I am using the consumption method as flexible. So that's how the uh, new consumption field in uh, build of material works in order version 13. And thanks for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.